So in my personal opinion, I would say that one of the best ways to get started with a side hustle is to begin with a one person business, a business that can run by yourself and you can leverage AI instead of you having to hire employees from the very start. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a very interesting way that you can use a new feature in ChatGPT to assist you when it comes to getting all of this started. The new feature within ChatGPT is called Agent Mode and it's very unique. I've never seen anything like it because the way in which it works is that it's able to scan the internet in real time. Not only that, it's also able to scan actual websites. And with this new technology, you're basically going to be able to use it when it comes to figuring out which one person business is going to be best for you in your own personal situation. So I'm going to break down each and every step that you need to take when it comes to doing all of this. But before I begin, I do need to say that this video should not be taken as financial or business advice in any way, shape or form. I'm not saying that you're going to be able to watch this and straight away start making money because it doesn't work like that. There's always going to be a learning curve. There's always going to be work required on your own part and there's always a risk. But I make these videos just to give you an update in the world of AI and just to give you the education that I wish I had from the very beginning. But now that I've got that disclaimer out of the way, let's move into the actual content and I just want to say that when it comes to starting a one person business, there's so many different options out there that you can choose. But in today's video specifically, I want to focus on selling low ticket digital products. The reason for this is that if you're working a full time job, maybe you're working a part time job, you can set it up, you know, set up all of the systems using the steps that I'm going to show you so that you can get your low ticket digital product business up and running with a few simple steps. So let's start the video right now. I'm just going to jump into ChatGPT. PT, and I'm just going to ask it a basic question just so that all of us understand what a low ticket digital product is. So this is the prompt that I'm going to enter. I'm going to ask it to tell me the top 10 best types of low ticket digital products. So I'm just going to enter it in there to chat GPT and then click on enter. And there we go. It's going to be products like eBooks, Notion templates, Canva templates, you know, printables, mini courses, you know, there's a list of different types of digital products that you can sell. And the price that you're going to sell them at is going to be maybe $20, $50, but because it's not priced too high, you're going to be able to hopefully get a lot of customers as long as you market it correctly. And the beauty of starting this one person business is that you can use AI every step of the way. So now that we know what a low ticket digital product is, this now brings me on to the new feature within ChatGPT. So what I'm going to do is just open up a new chat. And I'm just going to switch it over to agent mode. And the digital product that I'm going to use as an example in today's video is going to be ebooks. So the prompt that I'm going to enter into the agent mode is going to be this one. I'm going to say, can you show me 10 real life examples of active websites that are selling? And I'm just going to change this to successfully. So I'm just going to type that in and click on enter. Okay, there we go. So it's already started scanning the internet, as you can see, and it shouldn't take more than five, 10 minutes for it to complete, but it's going to hopefully come back with real life websites that we're going to be able to see exactly what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong, so that we can build this one person business in the right way. Okay, so that took about eight minutes and, you know, it's come back with all of these different sites. So let me know how they're selling their different ebooks, the prices they're selling it for. And from here, I can now pick any one of these just to kind of get a general understanding of what they're doing. So if I just go with this website called Nomadic Mat, I'm just going to click into this link. I'm using this one as an example, just to kind of show you, you know, what type of website they're running. But as you can see, super simple website, you know, it's branded around himself and and, you know, they seem to be making money in a number of different ways, or he seems to be making money in a variety of different ways. But one of the ways that they're doing it is by selling these different ebooks. This website is a travel website. So, you know, they've got Paris, New York, Iceland, Thailand, you know, so on and so forth. If I just click into this ebook, we can see that they're selling it for around $20. And what's really interesting about this website is that if I just click into similar web, we're going to be able to see that they are getting over 600 monthly visits and he's able to do this consistently every month. So what I'm going to do now is ask the agent to now scan the website and give me a breakdown of exactly how they're able to get over 500,000 visits per month and how much are they able to earn roughly per month with this amount of visitors and also what they've done, you know, when it comes to just generally being successful. So this is the type of prompt that you want to enter. I'm just going to leave it like this. You can tailor it in any way that you want, but let's see exactly what it comes back with. 
Okay, there we go. It's now going through the actual website and it should now come back with a detailed breakdown. And once again, it's now giving me the information that I asked for, you know, the monthly visits, how much they're able to earn. On average, we can see it's around 80,000 per month as an estimate, you know, the way that they're able to do it and just generally everything that's going to help me when it comes to building this up. And the reason why using the agent in this way is something that you may want to do as a beginner is because it's going to give you insight into what's actually working out there just to give you the confidence to know that you can maybe do it yourself. But when it comes to being able to figure out the best one person website to start building, if you're confused about which step to take, what you can do is use this ChatGPT digital product prompt builder. Don't worry, it's completely free. You know, I made it myself. It's gonna take you through five different questions. So we're gonna quickly go through it right now. Question number one is what type of digital product are you most interested in creating? I'm gonna say that I would like to make an ebook because that is what we've been working with. Question two is what type of niche do you have knowledge in? For me, I'm gonna go with freelancing because things like remote work seems to be a popular topic right now on Google. As we can see, more and more people are searching for information about remote work as we speak. Question three is how do you want to sell your digital product? I'm going to say my own website because that's exactly what this guy has been able to do and he seems to be bringing in a decent amount of extra income. Question four is how much time can you dedicate towards this per week? I'm going to say I can put between four to seven hours and finally how do you plan to promote it? Ideally you want to try and do all of them at some point. You know, if you're a complete beginner and you only want to focus on one then maybe you can go with SEO blog articles. The reason why I say that is because if I just go back over over to the chat GPT agent, we can see right here that the way that they've been able to get a lot of traffic has been by investing into their blogs. So blogging can definitely be a you know great way to get a lot of traffic. So I'm gonna select this and then click on submit. Okay, perfect. So now that I've got this prompt that's got all of my answers already integrated into it, I could just copy everything like that, go back over to chat GPT and I'm just gonna paste it into the normal version and click on enter. And it should now come back with the step-by-step -step process for me to get this one person business up and running in the most efficient way possible. It's given me the ebook that I should make. It's also given me, you know, the prompts when it comes to being able to make the ebook, how I can build my website, the best blog articles for me to use, the demographic, who should I be targeting, the monetization offer, the, you know, launch timeline, just all of the different steps that I need when it comes to being able to do this if I was a complete beginner. And one of the initial steps that I need to take is to start the process of building out my website. So Hostinger is the platform that I'm going to use. It's what I recommend and it's just the best way to do it. So I'm just going to go over to Hostinger. There should be a direct link within the actual chat GPT plan that you just went through. From there, it's gonna take you over to this page and what you need to do is just click on start now. Then the one that I normally select is the business website builder. With this one, you're gonna be able to build up to 50 websites. You can also build a newsletter for completely free as well for the first year, zero transaction fees when you're selling your product. And just generally it comes with a lot of AI features. So I'm just gonna click on choose plan. And with the 48 month package, you're gonna be able to get the maximum amount of bonuses up to three months. But of course it's completely down to you which one you select. So I'm just going to come over here, enter this coupon code because this is going to give me an additional 10% off and I'm also going to put it on the screen as well so that you guys can use it and from there I'm just going to click on continue. Once you've now created your account it's going to take you to this page where you can select a website template. So they've got all of these different designs that you can choose from fully customizable. You can click into blog if you wanna see all of their different blog templates. But what I would recommend that you do is use their AI website builder. So you could just click directly into it right here and it's gonna take you over to this page. Now on this page, all you simply need to do is enter your brand name and a short description. So if we just go back over to the business plan within ChatGPT, if you're confused about what to call your website, you can find all of these different different brand names over here. So the one that I'm going to go with is going to be Future Freelance Guide. So I'm just going to get this one. By the way, guys, this is just an example just to walk you through how it works. If I just paste it in there like that, 
from there what i'm going to do is get the prompt for chat gpt so i'm just going to copy that go over here and paste it in here you can make any changes to the prompt that you need to but for now it looks good so what i'm going to do is just click on create a website and the good thing about hostinger is that this shouldn't take more than a couple seconds for it to complete and just think about it guys what it's doing right now is building out a completely unique website that doesn't exist on the internet and that probably took about 10 seconds or so so if i just click on continue to be able to view your website you're just going to click on edit website at the top over there and it's going to take you over to the first draft so this is basically what the website looks like now bear in mind there is going to be some changes that you need to make to it you know you may need to go through update the currency to usd if you're selling to people in the united states you're also going to have to go through update the logo if there's any issues you know to be able to do this is not difficult if i just click on the header i'm going to click on edit header i'm going to click on logo i'm going to say that i want the logo to be just text and i'm going to put the name of the business that we're working with which is going to be future freelancer so let's just call it that from there what i'm going to do is leave it as it is that looks decent and any other changes that you need to make you know to the actual website it is drag and drop so you can move anything around you can change the footer you can change any text you could do whatever you need to do and right now most of you are probably thinking about sam how exactly am i going to make the low ticket digital product isn't it going to be hard for me to do don't i need to be some sort of you know creative graphic design person to be able to make it and the answer to that is no because if you just go over to this tool over here, this is what I personally use when it comes to making eBooks. It's called Gamma, it's free to use. You can sign up to it, start making your eBooks today. And all you need to do once you've created your account is click on generate. To make an eBook, what you need to do is click on document, make sure that A4 is selected, go over to the business plan that you got from ChatGPT, and you're gonna be able to get the prompt for Gamma right here. So you're just gonna copy it like that, you know, make any changes to it. I'm just gonna call it the AI Remote Work Playbook. And it's got 10 chapters focused on beginner freelancers, AI tools, etc., etc. So once I've done that, I'm gonna click on generate outline. It's now come back with the detailed breakdown as to what is gonna go into the ebook. You know, this looks decent. I'm gonna leave it as it is, and I'm just gonna scroll down, make sure that detailed is selected. And I'm also going to select the theme and also say that I want it to have you know realistic images. So if I just do that and click on generate, and there we go. You know, that probably took maybe a few minutes, maybe a couple seconds for it to do. It's already completed the ebook. All 10 chapters have been completed. Now I do want to give you some advice and let you know that when it comes to using any type of AI tool to do any type of work, you're responsible for going through it, making sure that you're happy with all the information. You need to cross check it, you know, make any changes to it. You don't want to just use AI and just put it out there to the marketplace and start selling it because there may be some errors, there may be some issues. So, you know, be wary of this whenever using any type of AI tool. But once you have gone through it, you've made any changes to it and you're ready to export it, all you got to do is just click on export over here and you're going to export it to PDF. And it's going to be within hosting guard that you're now going to be able to list it for sale. So if I just click on store, come over here to add product. The one that you want to select is of course a digital product because that's what we're working with. And all you need to do from this point is, you know, insert the information, title, description, the price of what you want to sell it for, as well as the exported file that you got from Gamma. And most of you are wondering right now, Sam, you know, what you've shown us is truly amazing. The fact that I can get a website built as well as a low ticket digital product built within a matter of 30 minutes is mind blowing. But how exactly am I going to get people onto the site and this is a valid question and as i told you before there's so many different ways that you can do it now one of the you know low-hanging fruits options that you have when it comes to getting traffic to this site is going to be with seo blog articles and the reason for that is because within the ai builder for the website you're going to see on the left hand side ai tools and you're also going to see ai blog generator and using this in combination with ChatGPT, because we've got the SEO blog articles over here, what you're now going to be able to do is copy any one of these different titles and just paste it in there like this. And Hostinger is going to be able to take care of the rest. So if you wanted to update 
the word count, you can do that. I would recommend between 800 to 1,000 or ideally 1,500 to 2,000 words. So I'm just gonna leave it on the lowest one for now so that you could do it really quick. I'm gonna leave the tone of voice on casual and then I'm gonna click on create content. And no word of a lie guys, that took maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds for it to do once again. All of these different AI tools are really, really quick when it comes to doing all of these different tasks. But as we can see, it's now giving me the full blog article that anyone is gonna be able to read. I'm gonna be able to promote it on social media. And just generally, it's a great way for you to get free organic traffic going onto the site so that they can potentially see the items that you're selling. But of course, there is gonna be some other parts of the process. I just wanted to give you a general overview, but if you've enjoyed this video, you've learned anything from it, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know once a new video has been released. Don't forget to check out that completely free ChatGPT prompt builder so that you can get an idea of which low ticket digital product is the one that you wanna sell and how you're gonna be able to sell it. And just generally, don't forget to check out the description down below for any of the other topics that we've spoken about today. And if you also wanted to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, where I go through another type of one person online business that anyone can build. I'm going to leave that video right there. Be sure to watch that straight after this. I've gotten so much good feedback from it. And I'm sure if you're able to watch it from the beginning all the way to the end, you're going to be able to learn something from it as well. But other than that, guys, I'm going to catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.